वेलकम बैक टू माय मिनी प्रोजेक्ट इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो टुडे बेसिकली वी विल सी हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट ऑल द कंपोनेंट्स हियर इट इज़ अ ब्रीफ डिस्क्रिप्शन और ब्रीफ लेआउट स्ट्रीमलिट एज अ फ्रंट एंड स्वैगर फास्ट ए पी आई बैक एंड सर्वर एंड माई एस क्यूल द डेटा बेस एंड हाउ दे आर इंटरेक्टिंग एंड मेनली वी विल इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट सी आर यू डी दिस ऑपरेशन इज बींग डन एंड हाउ द इंटरेक्शन इज गोइंग ऑन so love now first see to the working of this project and after that we will see the integration so this is first you saw the listing part that is view product second tab is for adding product and how it is working means how the api points are working using fast api we will see to it and simultaneously we will see how the database means here i am using mysql workbench how it is being updated right simultaneously we we'll see to now you saw that product is being added the 15th number id now same id i will use to update the product and delete the product so this is a very basic project uh, here i have learned the operations these all four things and successfully i have done it so you will be also do it at the end successfully and here there are many uh, points to upgrade also uh, here we could have used a lot more validation we could have made it more colorful but for the basic thing and working part we are here right so this is the thing now part by part i will we will see to it and all the url will be there in the description so for development environment i am using pychan at the left hand side you can see the how the directory and the files are arranged and here are my five py means python files i'm using python as the language to work on and this is the github so you will get all the code from here and if you are not uh, so comfortable with forking then you can just copy and paste so how to do this integration means copying pasting how to make the folder everything i will show one by one now you can see they are arranged nicely and here using this raw you can see the raw tab click there then you will get a everything to be you can copy from there and paste it accordingly right so let's start now see here in c drive users lenovo here you can uh, find your uh, name also so here inventory management this folder is here and back end front end these two folders will be there with that many things are there they are all the screenshots of uh, many things you can find it in the github screenshot of how the ui is working project structure everything right now let me show you this project structure uh, this image now here you can get a basic idea at the first top project underscore inventory management that project will not be there okay rest is same here i have used virtual environment so first let me rename my project and we will again recreate it so step by step you can follow and recreate it okay so new folder again i am uh, naming renaming as uh, in not renaming naming as inventory management so this folder is empty so one by one we will put all the folders here but from this pycharm we will create all the folders and files so this is the first appearance here in pycharm before that we should be ready with our python installed in our machine right so from python.org you will get it and if you can't do that also is there in the description how to install uh, python how to install pycharm everything is there in the description you will find all the uh, required things now see users lenovo we know under this we have just right now created our this inventory management empty folder okay now do okay and keep this virtual env as it is all the libraries will be installed here now create so we will not be talking about here how the code is working you just copy and paste and may, you can 
uh, see how the from the starting to the end how the full project is working smoothly right now see basic structure is done now here also in the folder we can see vnb this folder is automatically included right now i will go to my old folder and from here i will copy paste you can copy paste from the github right now see i will always try to take help of this project structure screenshot while working on this or if you are uh, not taking this one you can just draw it in your copy or some paper so i have right clicked on inventory management and selected this directory folder and one by one i created back end and front end these two folders right under this back end we will create these pi files even under this or inside this front end folder so for this new python file this one you need to select and one by one you create if you don't put dot pi it will automatically put it as dot pi so it create it as dot pi so one by one i am creating it you can uh, slow uh, slow it or you can pause and see and you can work accordingly with my this uh, mine video right okay so see roots this folder is under backend so i need to create this first new directory and under this i need to create this project uh, under for products.py so all five pi files are done many more things are there i have included everything i have tried to include now see this is my sql workbench so this is the inventory database so how to create uh, how to insert all the data everything is there in github so you can get it from there so if you are trying to execute single line so which icon to use you can see it and if you are trying to execute multiple line which one to use now you can see so see take one by one and then execute it then it will be nicer right and here you can see many more folder purchases sales and supplies so it can be worked on later also so for now i am just using using this products dot not by products this table okay now see inventory underscore db in this you can just copy and paste from here it is there in the github okay so everything is given now let's do the things one by one now i'll just copy and paste everything from my old folder so this code which i have pasted it's not there so by seeing from this video you can just test check the connectivity before that you need to install this mysql connector okay so pip install mysql connector that uh, one i have done now while installing your workbench localhost root root username it remains same and uh, password you need to remember then see this is my inventory underscore db so this database name should be there properly otherwise it cannot do the connectivity okay so we need to be sure for those four things host user password and database name and you can see this code and you can just type it because this code is not there in the github now let's uh, run it now you need to just right click and run the py file now while running i saw that i have done a mistake it is under products so it should not be there so i am just i have done control a select all control x cut and under this database dot py i have pasted it now i am running this run database so once i run it see it's showing me in the terminal connected to mysql database so the connectivity is working it is done so for this what i have done i have installed one library after that the main 
code of the database dot pi i have copied it you can copy it from the github page and paste it so accordingly very fast i will just copy and paste nothing to discuss here and i am using python as the language to communicate right so let's do it so everything is done okay fine we are ready to go so all the 5.py i have copied and pasted now what's next now i have clicked the uh, terminal now here the command pip install fast api uvcon and streamlit these three i am first installing and on all these are going where to the venv folder so it may take some time you need to wait for some time once it's done and you are ready to go so you can see that updating skeletons and all those things for those things you need to wait now here requirements is there you can run this file also dot txt it, it is there in the github and all the required libraries will be installed okay so you need to wait for some time so once it's done we can move further so uvcon backend dot main colon app so this way you need to give the command and i got an error because i have just copy pasted and i have not removed that reload this reload part when next second time you will be using you will be right uh, means typing this dash reload first time this reload this option is not required now we can start our first api server so how to start this url means uh, this one i will put it in the description you can just copy paste and in your browser and it will start working now let's see the test for the api points right now i have already inserted the demo data now select start from products so these are all the rows already these are there in my database products table okay now we will be posting something so let's post so the way i am clicking you can click likewise so we are actually adding one new record to the database so i am just copying pasting so you can see you can pause the video see and you can also copy paste and finally you need to click the execute once it is done if you will scroll down you will see the response part so it's saying product added successfully right so it's working now let's see actually it added or not now see you can see this 16th number id mechanical keyboard is added successfully so it's working right so connection is working we can see this server is work fast api server is also working so just see to it how i am accessing all this api points code is already there in your pycharm pycharm is open we have uh load uh, restarted this um that one you saw na the reload so you need to do it many times means you have to run that command line many times as needed now see so we can delete also giving this product id so you have to always click on try it out so i am using swagger you can use postman also so next time when i will work on it i will try to use postman this is learning and sharing part i am learning and i am sharing with you so every time i will try to do to work with some different things so that i also learn and i can share with you also see the response body is always uh, showing that successful before coming to this point uh, i worked many times and finally i reached till this point it's not once i have pasted everything and it started working so you have to also 
do the work for few times and see where the things are working or not right so now we have tested more or less all the endpoints now i am see i am just updating and all those things and it's working every time we will be checking both the part the swagger fast api this server part also and the one in the workbench my sql workbench see response body product updated successfully so fine it's working now see the last one okay i hope this helps you and it also helped me i learnt a lot from here now now the time is to test with the streamlet so see here for terminal see you can see local 2 so i need to keep that also i need to work on streamlet also to run both of them that fast api and streamlet we we'll need two tabs so here the command i have typed you also type that command and once you and uh, uh, push the enter button then you will get all these things now you can test one by one from here also it's working or not properly and these buttons you will find show hide a uh, download as C, uh, csv comma separated value that file and full screen search all this you can test and finally you can deploy it and streamlit is free you can deploy it so i am not deploying it right now so this is the project which we worked on and after products.py you can work on sales.py purchases.py and uh, this these uh, all this uh, code are given right so you can see to it and work on it so these are the supplier sales and purchases already the table is created now the dummy data you can upload and you can work on it further so i hope this will help you and if you like this give it a thumbs up bye bye